Hello everyone, I'm Kimberly Sipenson from 1BSCEA. Derivative of trigonometric function. How can we differentiate this function? As we can see, we have a fraction. So, we can use the quotient rule. This is the formula for solving a derivative of a quotient. Let's say, let's say this is f and this is g. That means f is 2 cos x. That means f prime is equals to negative 2 sine x. And g is x plus 1. That means j prime is equal to 1. Let's go ahead and apply this formula. y prime is equal to g, which is x plus 1, f times f prime, which is negative 2 sen x minus f, which is 2 cos x times g prime, which is 1, over g squared, which is x plus 1 to the second power. Distribute x plus 1 times negative 2 sine x is equal to negative 2x sine x minus 2 sine x minus 2 cos x times 1 is equal to 2 cos x over copy the denominator x plus 1 squared. Simplify. Since we have a common factor of negative 2, we can move it to the front. So we have negative 2 times x sine x plus sine x plus cos x over copy the denominator x plus 1 to the second power. Therefore, the derivative of this function is negative 2 times x sine x plus sine x plus cos x over x plus 1 squared. Derivative of exponential function. How can we differentiate this function? As we can see, we have a fraction here. So, we can use the quotient rule. This is the formula for solving a derivative of a quotient. Let's say this is f and this is g. So, we have f is equal to x to the fourth power plus 3. That means f prime is equal to 4x Q. G is e 5x to the fifth power. That means g prime is equal to 25x to the fourth power e 5x to the fifth power. Let's go ahead and apply this formula. g is e 5x to the fifth power times f prime which is 4x cubed minus f which is x to the fourth power plus 3 times g prime which is 25x to the fourth power e 5x to the fifth power over g squared which is e5x 
to the fifth power square. Distribute. E5x to the fifth power times 4x cubed is equal to 4x cubed E5x to the fifth power minus x to the fourth power times 3 times 25x to the fourth power E5x to the fifth power is equal to 25x to the eighth power E5x to the fifth power plus 75x to the fifth power E5x to the fifth power over copy the denominator E5x to the fifth power squared. Therefore, the derivatives of a function is 4x cubed E5x to the 5th power minus 25x to the 8th power E5x to the 5th power plus 75x to the 5th power E5x to the 5th power over E5x to the 5th power squared. Derivative of logarithmic function What is the derivatives of this function? How can we find the answer? First, we will use a process called logarithmic differentiation. First, take the natural logarithmic of both sides. ln y equals ln times 3x minus 7 to the 4th power times 8x squared minus 1 to the 3rd power. Taking the natural logarithmic both sides so that we can move the exponent to the front. So we have lny equals 4ln times 3x minus 7 plus 3ln times 8x squared minus 1. Next is to differentiate both sides. We can use the formula for taking the derivatives of L, U, L and U. D over DX, L and U equals 1 U, D, U, D, X. This will serve as our U, um, 3X, Minus 7, u prime is 3, u is 8x squared minus 1, and u prime is equal to 16x. Let's go ahead and apply this formula. y prime over y equals ln u is 4 times 1 over u is 3x minus 7 times 3 plus 3 times 1 over 8x squared minus 1 times 16x. Next is distribute y prime over y equals 12 over 3x minus 7 plus 48x minus 8x squared minus 1. Find these two function, so we have the denominator of 3x minus 7 times 8x squared minus 1. So we have the numerator of 12 times 8x squared minus 1 plus 48x times 3x minus 7. The next step is multiply both sides with y and substitute the value of y. 
distribute. 12 times 8x squared minus 1 is 96x squared minus 12 plus 48x times 3x minus 7 is 144x squared minus 336x over 3x minus 7 times 8x squared minus 1. Next is, the next step is multiply both sides with y and substitute the value of y. So, we have y prime over y equals 240x squared minus 336x minus 12 over 3x minus 7 times 8x squared minus 1 and times both sides with y. Next is cancel, cancel. So we have y prime over equals 240 x squared minus 336x minus 12 over 3x minus 7 times 8x squared minus 1 and substitute the y which is 3x minus 4 to the fourth power times 8x squared minus 1 to the third power. Therefore, we have y squared, I y prime equals 240x cubed minus 336x minus 12 times 3 x minus 7 time to the third power times 8 x squared minus 1 to the second power. So this is the final answer. I, for, I cancel, 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 cancel. So this is the final answer. Maxima or minima problem. Problem. Find the dimension of a rectangle with perimeter 1,000 meter so that the area of the rectangle is a maximum. First thing to do is to draw a figure and indicate the unknown parts. Left length of the rectangle be x meter and with y matter. Um, this is the formula for solving a perimeter of a rectangle. P equals 2x plus 2y. P is 1000 equals 2x plus 2y. Hence, we must have the, identify the value of y using the formula of 1,000 equals 2x plus 2y. 1,000 equals 2x plus 2y. Divide both sides of, by 2. 1,000 divided by 2 is equal to 500 and it cancel, cancel, cancel. So we have x plus y transpose x so we have y equals 500 minus minus 6x 
So we have y equals 500 minus x. Then we will use the formula for solving the area of a rectangle which is a equals x times y. So we have here a of x equals x times 500 minus x. <coughs> So we have 500x minus x squared because x and y are a length, we must have the value of in between 0 and 500. In between 0 and 500. The problem now reduces to finding the value of x in 0 and 500 for which a is a maximum since a is differentiable so we have dA over dx the maximum must occur at an end point or a stationary point so we have dA over dx equals 500 minus 2x Setting the dA over dx is equal to 0 minus 500 minus 2x. 0 minus 5, 0 equals to 500 minus 2x. Divide both sides. I transpose negative 2x so we have positive 2x equals 500. Divide both sides by 2. Gives x is equal to 250. Hence, the value for a is to be maximum or x equals 0, x equals 250, x equals 500. So, we have 2 x equals 250. Since a of 0 equals a of 500, I, since a of 0 equals a of 500 is equal to 0, thus the maximum value of a occurs when x is equal to 250. Therefore, the rectangle is a square with a side length of 250 meters. Thus, we can solve the maximum area A equals X times Y. Substitute with a side length 250 meters. A equals 250 meters times 250 meters. So we have 62,500 square meters. Therefore, the maximum area is 62,500 square meters.